Law of the Bedroom number 38. Sweat a lot before you make love. Now, it's interesting that I would bring this up, huh? Making it a law of the bedroom. Sweating a lot before you make love. Well, check this out. You see, if you don't work out between sexual encounters with your gal, and you don't sweat moderately to a lot <laughs> during your workout, you will probably sweat a lot or more during the act of sex with your gal. This ain't good. You see, your honey wants to make love to you. She doesn't want a sponge bath. Monster of dripping sweat on top of her. Okay? Let me repeat that. Your gal wants to make love to you. Not a sponge bath monster of dripping wet sweat. You see, when you work out, you sweat out a lot of that trapped water, which has accumulated over the past few days, maybe a week or so. If you don't work out all week and you use sex as your workout, which is a good workout, you'll be sweating and that much more on top of her. I've kind of experienced this once or twice where I'm sweating and I'm dripping on her and it ain't good. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to fix this. And that's why I put it in here as like one of the laws of the bedroom. You got to work out on your own time alone and you got to sweat as much as possible so that when it comes to the lighter physical activity of sex, you're not drip dropping sweat on top of her and you won't be so embarrassed when you think she's getting a shower from you, your sweat. <laughs> no, it's not good. Hey, let's get into my ab workout real quick because we're talking about sweating a lot before you make love and we're going to sweat doing my ab workout program. And again, I talked about it. Abs, arms, body, booty. And I'm just going to kind of go through it quickly and just imagine yourself implementing this new workout program and it's good stuff. So here we go. Check this out. Abs, arms, body, booty. So abs. Basically, for me, I do crunches and sit-ups for the duration of one song. My favorite song. I got my headset on. I don't count. I just do crunches. And different kinds of crunches. You know, touch the heels, touch the knees, all kinds. Arch the back. You know, crunches, sit-ups. It's okay. Do them for the duration of one song. I then will do planks for about, maybe it's a two minute, three minute count. I'm a wimp. But I'll do three or four or five planks with that count. And I'll do some other ab exercises. What ab exercises have you seen other people do? Model what you want to do. Create your own ab workout routine and memorize it and do it. Make it like clockwork, automatic, subconsciously, just second nature. Abs, hit the floor, do your crunches, do your other abs, your bicycles, anything like that. Just whatever it is that you want to do. Custom make your own ab workout. So abs, we do those first because we want to warm up the core and we do it with ab workouts. Second, arms. Your arms have to be strong. We got to be able to pick her up, fold her in two and twist her and spread those legs. And it takes a lot of workout. So I work out at home. I have a home gym of sorts. I have a curl bar and curl bar has weights that I can put on. And I think they add up to a total of like 35 or 45 pounds when you add the 10s, the 5s, the bar. You know, what's it come out to? 25, 35, 45? I don't know what it comes out to. The point is, is it's a curl bar. It's really cool. It's one of those bent ones. So I'll do like two or three reps of 21 reps, two or three sets of 21 reps. Curl. I also have the elastic rubber stretch bands, and I'll do those in front of me and then overhead, and I'll do 100 of each. So in front of me, I'm stretching that band, 1, 2, 3, 99, 100. And then I'll do it behind me, same thing. I got some heavy dumbbells. I could do some curls. I'm working the arms. That's the thing. I did my abs, I did my arms. Each one of those is like five minutes long or whatever. Body. This is where it's up to you when it comes to working out your body. And it could be aerobics, cardio, jumping jacks, jump rope, running in place, stationary bicycles, treadmills. I have a ski machine, Nordic track, kickboxing, running, swimming. I actually started swimming. We got a pool here. So I might go for a run and then swim. I'll run for 30 minutes. I'll swim for 30 minutes. I'll do my ski machine for 30 minutes. I'll exercise in the morning. I'll exercise in the afternoon. I'll exercise at 11 p.m. at night because I'm a night owl. I'm working out at least twice a day, doing something with my body. And for me, jogging, swimming, and the ski machine. That's good enough for me. You can do jump rope. Whatever it is that flips your boat and makes you rock, do it. 
find what works for you and graduate into it just gradually slow you don't got to start running a marathon you know when i jog i like to jog for maybe two to three minutes maybe yeah two to three minutes i'll just say two three minutes and then i'll stop and i'll walk just for like one minute and then i'll run again for three minutes i'll stop and walk it's a walk run walk run walk run walk run you don't beat yourself up you still get the same workout 30 minutes later, you're sweating, your body's taking shape, your face is kind of getting more shapely, you're losing all that puffiness. I accomplished my goal, and I didn't beat myself up. That's the thing. Okay? All right. Good. And then booty, the booty exercises. There's a lot of ways to exercise the booty. For me, I just get to the floor. I'm on fours. I do leg kicks back. I do leg kicks to the side. I do 20 of each. 20 reps to the side, 20 back kind of like a sprinter would kick his leg back in that butt the buttocks you know the butt cheeks they tighten and when you kick that leg back up in the air and you're on fours you're going to tighten your butt and you're not going to put pressure on your knees or your thighs you know i hate to see people who do lunges or any kind of squat activity you know for me it just puts too much emphasis on joints thighs other parts of the leg area and not enough on the glutes. If you look at a sprinter and a long distance runner, the sprinter has the better ass because of how their legs are kicked way back hard and then they're pulled forward and then they're pushed back again many times during the sprint race. So by getting on fours, there's no pressure and you're just kicking your leg back and then you're kicking it out to the side on the right, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 25, 26, 27, 20, 29, 30. Whew. Oh my God, that sucked. I'm in pain. And then you do it to the left, you know, 30 times, 30 reps. And you just do it once. You can do it more, but I get tired. So I do it kickbacks, both legs, and kick to the side, both legs. Now, when you're done with that, that little exercise there, and you stand up, you're going to be tired. But your butt is going to constrict and get tight. I've seen it. No, I've seen it. I, I feel it. I feel it tighten. That's why I do them. And that's it. I don't do squats. I don't do any of that stuff. No way. You know, I work out from home. I find it easier. It's convenient. I want to get it. I want to get in and out. I even remember I was driving to a field to go run. And I said to myself, dude, just go run in the vacant parking lot next to your complex where you live. It takes two minutes to walk there. Your field is a 10 to 15 minute drive with stoplights. 15 minutes to get there and then 15 back. Maybe it's like 10. That's 20 minutes round trip. 20 minutes. Just walk next door and go run for 20 minutes and then walk back in two. So time. I don't have a lot of time. I got to squeeze this stuff in. So create a home gym for yourself. I even bought one of those towers that have like a captain's chair so I can kind of hoist myself into it and then do leg lifts for abdomen workout. That's pretty cool. Amazon, like 120 bucks, sturdy. And if you're feeling adventurous, I say to you as I close out this section here, consider getting your body in shape with, you know, basketball, bicycling, brisk walking, cross country skiing, hiking, kickboxing, rowing, canoeing, kayaking, walking, jogging, sprinting, stair stepping, surfing, swimming in the ocean if you live near an ocean i lived near the ocean and i tell you what three o'clock i was down in the water right there in newport beach california battling those waves swimming out there for about three hours you're gonna get real trim real quick ever seen an obese surfer i don't think so water sports tennis yoga racquetball handball take a break from your usual routine and make a day of it do something different it's your body do what you want with it, but work out and sweat so you don't sweat on top of her when you're making love to her. <laughs> I'm going to just share that law of the bedroom 38 one more time. Sweat a lot before you make love to her. And check out my ab workout routine and try to customize something for you. A-A-B-B, -B, abs, arms, body, booty. Customize something for you and make it work for you and get in great shape. I had a doctor work out with me one time. She was a naturopathic doctor. And she said to me, Bart, I'm really impressed. This ab workout touches all the major body parts. And I'm like, thank you. I just created it out of nowhere. 
I just, I needed something. And I needed something that was so brainless and so easy to remember and quick to implement. And I was in and I was out and I didn't have to think. I could just put my headphones on and rock. Because that's all I really want to do when I work out. I just want to rock. I want to play my music really loud and sing. Yeah, never mind. I won't sing on this microphone. It's late anyway. Anyhow, hey, I hope this was good for you. I hope you got some good ideas from it. Comment in the comment box below. I would love to hear your thoughts and what works for you. And we'll take it from there. You're doing great. Let's continue to the next audio in this playlist of Laws of the Bedroom. Mm, good stuff. <laughs>